Let's begin by showing an example of how the associative property holds for addition. Again, we have the same three terms in the same order, a, b, and c. They can be any real numbers, but group differently in parentheses. So again, we should notice that the groupings are different, but the order of the terms is the same. So let's get some numbers involved here. We're going to go ahead and replace the a term with a value of 3, the b terms with a value of 5, and we'll replace the c terms with a value of 9. And we're going to go ahead with order of operations here by starting with the parentheses. On the left side, we have 3 plus 5 in parentheses. That's equal to 8. Over on the right side, we have 5 plus 9 in parentheses, which is equal to 14. We'll continue to simplify this. On the left side, 8 plus 9 is equal to 17. And on the right side of the equal sign, 3 plus 14 is also equal to 17. 17 equals 17. This example should help us to understand why the associated property works for addition. Now we will switch over to looking at subtraction. We're going to take the same exact example, except we replace those addition signs with subtraction signs. And same process here. 3 minus 5 on the left side in parentheses is negative 2. Jump over to the right side parentheses. 5 minus 9 is equal to negative 4. And just one more step of simplifying. Negative 2 minus 9 on the left side is negative 11. 3 minus negative 4 on the right side is a positive 7. Of course, negative 11 does not equal 7. So this example can help us to understand why the associative property does not hold for subtraction. These examples should help us to really understand now why addition is associative, but subtraction is not. Hi everyone, Anthony here one last time. Hope you found that lesson to be helpful. And if you want to help us out, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We're committed to adding new video lessons every week, and now would be the time to subscribe. So I really hope that you would consider it. And also, don't miss your chance to download your free practice worksheet that's included with this video lesson. Just click the link in the description below, and you can get your download. Hope to see you all soon. Bye.